Don't touch my Gragas. Don't. No one touch my Gragas. I'm coming in, dude. Wow, you are bad. Oh. 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 Just let that chill let that carry speak. games and some real talk today. Tell us your thoughts in the comments. But he's a really good streamer. I guess that's the thing is like that's 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 how I view it is like he just could never admit when he, he would never hype up his homies like his 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 original homies. He just never would seem to do that because he didn't want to get overshadowed or something. Even when it would cost him nothing, you know what I'm saying? Even when it would cost him nothing to do that. It was very weird. It always rubbed me the wrong way. Just greedy for no reason. But not in a not in a financial greedy, just like a, a basic human being greedy. Nice trade. I can get there, I think. Yeah, is this high elo? What's going on? <laughs> I ghosted for the Yasuo. When I see a good play, dude, I'll I'll save it. I had a path from the side here. We got momentum now. This is like a GG. Set him up. Set him up. We'll knock him down. Set him up. We'll knock him down. Yeah, it is pretty funny that... Yeah, if you really... If you did really drill down into it, I mean, that's that's actually... No meme, that's actually what it would be. Like, if you drilled into Ninja's, like, success, it's literally that he played with Drake. <laughs> That was like his whole that was like his whole success story. It was like he he play he Drake just was like Drake's basically like a bronze player in league, right? It'd be like if Drake was playing league and he just called somebody he just called somebody up in the league space at random was like, yo, teach me league. Is basically what happened. No, no, Tyler Tyler was always Tyler was good though. Like he was he was at Halo, he was legit, actually. He was he was real legit at Halo. But then you started getting into like and and tyler actually did perform in some like of the the invitational stuff that they did with content creators as far as like a content creator is concerned like he is really good it's not like he's just like booty cheeks or anything like i and i'm not even saying that that's not even what it's about it's just about when it's like when you have the option of 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 like when you basically when he was presented with the option of bringing people up he distanced himself he distanced himself from like people in his in his circles and just like i don't know it's just it's shady you you know if you knew him you'd know anybody that really knows him says the same thing i say just to varying degrees cuz they don't want to like sabotage themselves right If you knew him, you'd know. Because there's, you know, little little kids and people would say that I'm like super jealous. I'm really not. Like, I'm happy for him. Him being him being famous has made my life easier. Him being a mega streamer made, you know, made everything that I've done like a, a little bit easier by proxy. So it's not like it's all it's not all hate. It's just as a like as a human being, I I don't I don't like him. Like I just think he's shady. He's snaky.
He'll do anything to one-up you to make his image look better. He'll do he'll do anything. Come here, you. He hangs out with Keemstar, dude. When Keemstar, like Keemstar, remember uh, Keemstar was like flaming me on Twitter, saying I look like a school shooter and shit. Ninja didn't say shit, and he I'd known Ninja for years. Stayed in the same hotel with him. He invited me to his wedding. He didn't say shit. He didn't. He did not. He did not make a stand at all. You know why? Because Keemstar was who's Keemstar's main audience. You got me on this topic now. Who's Keemstar's main audience? Fucking nine-year-olds, right? Who's Ninja's main audience? Fucking nine-year-olds. Ninja didn't say shit. He didn't say anything. He didn't he didn't defend me at all. Didn't even reach out like, man, that's kind of fucked up. You should you should uh I'll talk to Keem and like square it away. Nothing, dude. He did nothing. Nothing. That's real. That was before all the Fortnite stuff. That was before any of the like drama that made its rounds on like all the publications where Jess was trying to say that I was Jess Jess tried to imply that I was poor that that was like begging for money. So yeah. I'm just saying. So as a person, I lost a lot of respect for him over time. And then I, that was when I lashed out on him in, at, for, at, at Fortnite. That was like when I finally was like, yo, Tyler, fuck you, dude. Like it would, it would literally like, just imagine if somebody, imagine if somebody that I knew from a different game, like came over to league and wanted to learn it. Like, even if they were a small, like, even if they were like a smaller content creator, even if they don't even have content, like as a friend, you would be like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna help you out, dude. Even, even off stream, like I'm gonna help you out. We'll, we'll figure this shit out. Like if you're cool with me and I've known you for years, like I got you. It's just weird. Die, you fatty. You fat fatty. Okay, there we go. Don't touch him. He'll kill you. He will shit on you, fatty. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, like, I just let bygones be bygones. The only reason that, the only thing that got me on this topic, on this discussion, was that someone asked if I would ever, like, work with him on League. I've, I've, I've pretty much made a, in my head, I've already kind of made a strong commitment just off a of principle that I'd never help him with anything again. Really, if I'm being honest, like, I just don't see it happening. Not that he needs my help. I mean, he's like, he's basically, he's, he's bluffed his way into celeb status uh, at this point with some smart timing, uh, some smart decisions and some luck. He's basically a, a gaming celeb, even if he hasn't, he didn't really, he didn't really beat anybody at any, <laughs> he didn't really like beat any real players at the games that he played. He didn't really, but he's gotten his way up there. So it's, you know, he doesn't need anybody now. He's just, he's mega, mega fame now. You know what I mean? But I'd say overall, I think he's a good streamer. As long as I don't take the tower. Come here, you. I'm coming again. Do you think you win this? You don't. I was going to say, if you somehow miss that. I 
I should have autoed that stupid thing. I misplayed that. I could have played that better. It's such a weird fight with um with Xin Zhao. Such a strange scenario to be in. Yeah, he doesn't win that though. <clears throat> like I said, I, I don't uh I don't know. It, it is, I mean, ultimately, it's just weird to invite someone to your wedding and then, do you see what I'm saying? And then you flip-flop that hard once you get famous. It's very, it's very, uh, it's just a weird thing to do. It's a weird behavior. Stun! Wait, how did I get... Oh, this must have been through, uh... Bombies. Cinder Hulk. Did you go too hard on the open bar? No, no. I'm just getting huge. I'm like, my brain is off and I'm just talking about this and I'm just getting as huge as I can. As fast as I can. Not like... It's all good, man. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, the success that I've had on coaching rivals anything that I probably ever would have done on Fortnite anyways. Like, I was never good enough at Fortnite. Like, I was, like, in terms of skill. Like, that's the thing. I think that's the thing that was always funny to me with, with that game is because, like I said, like, I wasn't the best Fortnite player, but, like, I was better than Ninja was. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like... That that was always hilarious to me because that's a pretty that's a pretty apt summary of the of the the scene of like content creation and video game like content creation and stuff. It's like it's not about being the best. It's about being good enough to convince the right people at the right times that you're one of the best. And he was in a really good spot with Fortnite at the time. If you really drill down into it. Like, he was in a really cool spot where it was just, like... He was... Stop touching our wave, you stupid... He was, like, really good... Like, before there was tournaments to really prove... Like, with people that were actually... That weren't content creators. It was real weird. Tifu was Tifu was beyond legit. Tifu was literally one of the best. <laughs> like Tifu was real. There's no no that guy. No, you're not gonna have me having the same conversation. I would never say that. Like Tifu won. Tifu won tournaments with the best content creators while streaming. Tifu is a mutant, bro. It's not even. <laughs> See, that's the thing. People hear me say some shit like that and be like, "Oh, Nice doesn't know what he's talking about." No, at the time. <laughs> no. Tifu Tifu is literally like this is, playing against that guy in a shooter in a tournament. This guy is just <laughs> I always joked about shit like Tifu. Like this dude, he could be in a tournament and like the the most high pressure situation and he's just ice, dude. Just ice in his veins. 
This guy's playing like he's getting his dick sucked at the same time, dude. Like, it's just not even the same. Tifu and Ninja, like, it's not even the same tier. It's it, it, not even the same bracket. Like, I'm telling you, if anybody that's truly competitive, like, people wouldn't say it because they'd be afraid of pissing off the wrong people in the wrong circles. But, brother, when maybe not, I don't know about T, I haven't followed Tifu since when I was playing, but it, it was like, Tifu would, Tifu would like fucking quick scope headshot somebody in a tournament in front of in his in in like a in, a, in like a finals round in a tournament in front of his stream like people wouldn't even stream that game often because they wouldn't want to deal with it I, myself included i wouldn't want to stream half of the tournaments i did tifu would have like twenty thousand viewers and open a, a window real quick and dome some other pro player across the map while getting shot at in a tournament situation and say some shit like get off my peen dog <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's real that's like really what happened i remember it was i think it was hogman <laughs> it would sit he would just do that and he'd be like okay i'm i'm not whatever whatever that guy is in this game i am not that guy i am not that dude What? Hello, are you Gragas? Thank you. This Gragas has like the smallest peen ever. He could have. No, like I'm telling you, I played in a lot of the same tournaments that that Tifu played in like years ago. And it's, it's like, he's just a different breed, man. Like he's just, like I said, ice. Like. I was very jealous of those guys in terms of like they got to play a bit sooner and they got involved in the pro scene a bit sooner but like there was no denying that they it, it, there was people in those scenes in those tournaments that didn't belong there in my opinion but then there's people like Tifu is like this guy was there at the right time and he's insane so you're not gonna beat him in a tournament setting he won't choke like he won't he won't just fail Cause I've never in any, in any venture with like gaming stuff, I've never assumed that people were better than me, but like with him, it was like, that's a scary opponent. And he had, pra he practiced, he earned his spot. You know? And it showed up in tournament play. He would just, even though, you know, Fortnite tournaments were a joke, he was insane. Come here, you fucking. Come here, you little. Come here, you. I'm like literally just getting pulled everywhere. Come here. You come here. Somebody come here. Thank you. I should just go for... No, SR is cool. Mike messaged me on Twitter the other day. No, Mike's nice, dude. I've known SRO since I started doing content. Mike's cool. He messaged me the other day on Twitter. He's like, man, your, co your coaching videos are doing really well. Keep it up. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to be... He doesn't have to be nice to me. We don't really talk. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Remember the whole ninja rant that I just had? My own best friend, like one of my best friends in the gaming scene. Like we played Destiny together for like fucking hundreds of hours. I played Fortnite at high level. I, I never once 
nothing dude nothing 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 like that after a certain point it was just nothing it was like it was uh it was the uh, i was shut out meanwhile sro is somebody that i don't even talk to like he just hits me up randomly on twitter he's like good shit man i like what you're doing come here come here you come here you all come here i'm gonna beat your ass Yeah. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Ooh, yeah, get him. Get him. Yeah, get him. Run! Don't get him. Don't get that. Come here. Come here, give me a blue buff. Give it. All right, fine. I should probably wear... Well, me and Zinza are both bad junglers because we're not ready for Drake. So it's fine. I see a boost. Cursed item, GG. Shame on whoever brought me into this conversation. I'd almost forgotten about it. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. I got a Wow, you are bad. Like, they were like, fuck that. <laughs> I only knew about Disguise Toast when I came over to the platform and he came over to the platform like after, right? Like he came, he came like a few months after me or something. And I didn't even know who he was. I was like, who the fuck is that? Or it was like, maybe he came before me. I don't know. But I remember just being like, who the fuck is Disguise Toast? I have no idea who that is. And then, um... I catch his stuff now on my Facebook. I've watched some, I've, I've seen some of his stuff because I can't not see it. Like Among Us content, like I've seen it. But I've watched him and he is funny. Like he's, he's funny. He's a funny guy. Like he seems, he seems, you know, he seems entertaining. Like that's, I mean, he's completely different universe than me in terms of like what he does for streaming. Like I have no, 
I couldn't imagine doing like uh, uh, I, I couldn't imagine doing that type of content. Like it's just not me. I just couldn't do it. Like I couldn't I couldn't hang out with a bunch of like these any time basically any time I've ever hung out with like a big content creator like real big like there's exceptions obviously but like most of the time it just feels like they're hamming it up to just to, to it exhausts me like I don't want to have to fight for I don't want to have to fight them because they can't dial themselves in I don't have to fight them for like airtime and they like constantly just joking like making bad jokes just to make the joke like, it's just so tiresome. I couldn't imagine... I couldn't do what he does all day, dude. It would just get so... Like, just thinking about it gives me anxiety. Like, a lot of the people... A lot of the people that I've hung out with, like... Like, Ross, for example. Like, I've worked with Ross Boomsocks, for example. It's totally, like, down-to-earth. Like, chill guy. Like, total normal human, like, behind the streaming persona. But like not not a lot of these guys are i i don't know it, it but like from what i've seen with like toast or whatever he's he's cool <clears throat> and what they do is is entertaining and and it's just i couldn't imagine i could imagine it would tire me out All the, all the let's go's and the friggin just, uh, the, like the backhanded jokes that you've got to, you got to absorb and the uh, fake laughing, the fake laughing, fake laughing is the worst laughing. And I know the difference between a fake laugh, a content. I know the difference. I've been doing this a long time. I know what a content laugh is. You can't fool me. I know a content laugh when I hear it. <laughs> I know I know a content laugh. Fuck content laughs. <clears throat> hey, you want to hear me talk shit about people? What the hell happened to Sky Williams, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I used to hate that guy when I was coming up with content. I was like, look at this fake guy. Look at this fake ass dude. Something's wrong with this guy. I. <laughs> I I couldn't stand him. What the? And then he's friggin'. Sure enough. <laughs> sure enough. My, uh. <laughs> my, uh, read was spot on. What a scummy guy. Holy crap. You Sky Williams? It's like it's the black gay dude. He, he's like he had like he had people raping people at his house, and I don't even know what was going on. He was not paying people money back, and what the hell happened to that guy? I thought about coming up there. I hope he leaves. I like how the Zed stood there with Flash Ignite up while I set up a stun and just stared at me. <clears throat> Yo, you just look it up. I'm not what what would I what would I gain? What would I gain by making this up?
Dude, he's like a black gay dude. That's like a unicorn. They're not... People aren't trying to cancel Sky unless they got some dirt on him. All right? That's... <laughs> That's real. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> and I mean no disrespect to anybody of any any color and sexual orientation. I'm just saying. I'm just maybe that's a bad joke. I'm just saying. <laughs> like openly. Openly. That's like that's crazy. That uh, What up, Jack? I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> it's a black man. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's great, bro. I'm coming. I, I want to take this fight. Let's try it. I should ghost. Whatever happens, he's going to ult me. Are you supposed to see? What's going on here? You'll never win this fight versus me. <clears throat> yeah the only reason i brought this conversation up maybe i should just do maybe i should do one of these this actually seems really good on paper to me the only reason i brought any of this up is because I, I i was looking i was looking at like i don't know i caught the sky williams thing one day and then i went down the rabbit hole and i used to i, I used to, i couldn't stand his content it's like hacky it was like hacky stand-up comedy but like with league Right? I'm taking it. You gonna do it? You gonna stop me? Holy crap! You would! Oh, they really don't let it go, do they? <clears throat> I don't know how they can use that many things and still live. Okay, he doesn't live. Good. Good. It was ridiculous. That was, that was what, like, Sky's original content was, like, he did, he basically did, like, hacky league stand-up. He would just say some shit about a role and then tie it in to some real-life shit, make some jokes, and then that was, like, his whole gimmick. And he got really big off of it. Um, and then apparently he just wound up doing some, like, scummy IRL shit and then got found out. But he got huge. He got huge from doing that, that gimmick. This guy has no passive and he's fighting a level 7 Zed, so I don't know. I guy was going to take the, the Leona E. What do you do IRL? I don't know, man. He had like people in his house. He had, basically, he had like a... It was like a, it was like a, it was like a gaming pad with like a bunch of people living in it. And he was like the landlord and there was, there was dudes that were just like having inappropriate relations in the house and underage drinking and like he was basically condoning it. And then he, oh, he basically owed a bunch of people money is like the long story short, right? Like I'm not doing this story justice in terms of like my, my uh, summary, but th th you get the general idea. He was just... Even though he pretty much had <clears throat> his persona directly contrast what was going on in his real life. Let's put it that way. The way he talked, this it almost came off as like... Uh, some of his content came off as kind of preachy. But then behind closed doors, you know how it goes. You know how the story, age old. Play Smash, yeah. Sure. 
I don't know enough. I don't know about enough about that community to comment. I'm still pissed off that Leona is able to win bot lane and come mid and use all sums on me. But whatever. want to be a drama channel but it was just it was one of those moments in my in my uh career of doing content where it's just like when people that you just you just don't like them like you just watch their content and you're like you're fake you know what i mean like you're just you're like a fake person like if i hung out with if i got around you in public it would be like this weird like it, you would be you would just be a shitty person like i can just tell the type of content you're making and you just have that feeling, but you don't want to just say it. You don't want to just come out and say something like that and somebody you don't know. Because maybe you could be wrong, right? It's just a vibe. And then it comes out that they were that. And then you're like, I fucking knew it. I knew it. My hunch. My hunch was right. It's like you act one way in front of this camera, but we all know. That you, you act a very specific way. We always be streaming in the mornings. I, I I'm always streaming. What? All right. I want this plate. I think the way to do this, to be honest, is to just do something. You come down here, you put a ward down. All right, I'm baiting him if I don't come up. I just punched the shit out of him. He didn't even react with his W. You could tell. You could tell he wasn't expecting all that. Nice tax. Yeah, it is a tax. I'm the only reason you even got a kill in the slain. Ungrateful little inbreds, bro. I'm not going to take this minion because he wants to have some control because he can't win his lane. He's on the verge of AFKing. Nice read. I want that kill. Mm. I'm not going to hit that. I'm not going to go under. I'm just going to take this. You think you've promoted league to newcomers and returning players? What do you mean? Just in general? Of course. Some folks like juicy drama. Yeah. I mean, you can't... You gotta wonder, right? How people are living. I mean, I've, I've worked with people in the streaming communities where it's like, I can tell that I'm not them. Like, I obviously, I feel like if anybody's a streamer, like, they have to have some sort of ego problems. Like, I'm not immune. Like, I'm definitely not the most gracious loser, for example. But, like, I do find it funny that when I talk to some streamers, they're not, it definitely feels like they're not happy, they're not happy 
with just pure being able to do the job of streaming. Like when I got into this business, I would have just been, I, I, I'm serious. Like I would have just been happy being able to, to play a game all day. Like I, that's why I got into it. I'm just like, I like gaming. It's all I've done anyways. So I might as well try to make money on it. Right. When I talk to some streamers, it's like when you, when you talk to them, when you drill out into it, I've had some streamers flat out say it. They're just like, I just want to be the most popular person in the room. Like I've just heard them say it. And I'm like, I've never felt that way. I don't want to be the most popular person in the room. I just like being good at the game and being able to play it all day. And if that means that I have to make content to be a part of that space, then that's what I'm going to do. If that's how I have to exist. Stop healing. <clears throat> Any tips for upcoming parts time streamers? Fucking work. Get get to work, dude. Get to work. It gets harder every day. I work seven days a week. Are you gonna outwork me? That's 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 <laughs> that's my tip. Are you gonna outwork me? If you're not, you're not getting. You gotta outwork me and then be luckier than me. There you go. Good luck. Fucking. <laughs> I'm just being real. I don't. I don't even mean that in a cocky way. It's just I'm already here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like anybody that's in the space as a streamer, like they'd be lying. They're like, oh, anybody could do this. Fuck. It gets harder every day. It's harder every day. Yeah, hit Drake up first stream. There you go. It's that easy. Hope Hope Drake's playing League and he needs some help. And you're the guy that he sees on YouTube. <laughs> How long it take me to reach Challenger? Too long. I got a season six, I think. First time. It actually might be better for me to be trying the new item, like the other tank item. Shit, we lose dry. Well, I'm going to make him make a choice then. I don't take dragon, I'll path down. <clears throat> I mean, we were talking we were talking shit on ninja, but Tyler worked his ass off. He he didn't just like he streams a lot, or he did, I don't know about now, but he did stream a lot when he was coming up, so that's the same thing. I am not backing down. I do never, I, I will never back down.
it's not like it's not even even the the most successful streamers like they all work still streams constantly his chat is the brain hemorrhage though yeah i like i said it's he fucking streams for 10 year olds all day shoot me <laughs> shoot me i couldn't do it i couldn't do it do i ever get this oh uh, you little dickhead how do you know You'll never get me. You'll never take me alive. I've got Swifties. Hee <laughs> hee. No, like, what I do is a dream job, honestly. I'm very happy. It, it is hard work, though. It's, hard, it's harder than any job I've worked previously. It's way harder. But you love it, so you do it, you know? You, you work hard because you just love it. And you're like... And, and you're just like, well, I don't want to lose this gig, right? So I'm going to do it. I couldn't imagine being a chat full of 10 year olds asking for a shout out. Yeah, I don't know. Why is it way harder? Uh, it's way harder because it never stops. Like, you don't stop work and your job ends. It never ends. There's always something you could do better. Always. Because you're an entrepreneur, it's always some shit. Like, there's so many things I could improve about my stream, I just haven't because I don't work hard enough, still. I'm dead. I'm gonna get one shot, even though I have fucking goddamn spirit visage. I have spirit visage, and I'm gonna get one shot that fast. <clears throat> Just don't let them baron. I'm gonna die that fast to mostly set. He did that much damage to me on his own. Ah, eh, whatever. As long as they don't Baron. That's all I really care about. my own content creation business since years ago it works so much. yeah it's like um it's like i don't know it just it never it, it, that's the only way i can describe it to people that don't know is like get a real job i did hold a real job i was in the military for four years and then before that i worked at a tv station and then before that i uh fucking dug graves dude and then i did this i know more about working a real job than you probably do in your jobs and that's real. I was in Afghanistan for a year, bro. No days off. But it's still, even with all that, this this work is way harder. Like it's it's it, in terms of just like how many how many man hours you have to think about it. It it just never stops. If you want to survive, you will never stop working. You don't get to take breaks very often ever, and you feel terrible. 
you feel terrible even when you do have a break. Dude, if I die again to like one shot, I'm going to be so annoyed. I feel like I'm losing. Look, they're starting Baron up. They're just doing it. These sickos, the madmen. I have no ghosts. Fuck that. They get it. I can't stop it. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I'll just take this. <clears throat> My solos make this game very difficult, don't they? That was a really hard skirmish because I had to like wiggle outside of the Baron pit and not go in it. You know? I couldn't just like, I couldn't just like put my head down and pray. This set has been whooping my ass, by the way. That guy is doing all the damage to me in every fight. I have to go dead man's last. Oh yeah, I make I make a killing doing what I do now. It wasn't always like that. I make I make crazy money. I won't lie to you. I make ridiculous money. Any any streamer that's that's I mean I mean you could you could probably figure out I make quite a bit. But uh I didn't always. Anybody that's followed me knows that that, that wasn't always the case. Okay, I did it. As soon as, as soon as I saw that Jin like do his little and just like alt out, I was like, all right, you guys lost. <clears throat> you guys lost. 